Happy Thursday, everyone. I'm Stella Chung here filling in for NARS with your daily fix. Today, we've got a surprisingly strong lineup of PS Plus games for August. The PlayStation 5 is also getting a highly requested feature and a tease for what a bully remake could look like on current gen hardware. Let's dive in. The August 2022 lineup for PlayStation Plus has been revealed, and it'll be headlined with Yakuza Like a Dragon. Released in 2020, it's the latest entry in the long-running Yakuza series. You play as former gangster Ichiban Kasuga, who has just been released from prison after 18 years behind bars. A lot has changed since his stay in prison, with Ichiban's former friends and allies now conspiring against his clan. We gave Yakuza Like a Dragon a positive review, saying it, quote, takes some bold steps in a new direction for the series. A goofy gangster beat em up RPG, not your thing? How about a remaster of two of the best action sports games of all time? Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 is also coming to PS Plus next month. The original Tony Hawk's Pro Skater is more than 20 years old by now, and the remaster doesn't do too much to change up the gameplay, which honestly is a very good thing because you can't really improve upon perfection. We gave Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 a 9 out of 10, saying, quote, going backwards has been the best step forward for the series. And last but not least is Little Nightmares, a stealth exploration game set in a spooky world. Now, I played this and I'm not a huge horror fan, but this game isn't too long and the environmental storytelling is absolutely incredible. So I highly recommend it. Oh, but also don't trust anyone in that game. Yakuza Like a Dragon, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2, and Little Nightmares will all be available to PS Plus subscribers on August 2nd. In other PlayStation news, the PS5 is finally getting a much requested feature, 1440p support. Announced via the PlayStation blog, the new feature has entered beta and is expected to roll out to all PS5 owners via firmware update in the near future. There are plenty of gamers, like some here at IGN, that have their PS5s hooked up to a 1440p monitor, and it would be really nice to finally get a proper native resolution. Xbox Series X and S owners have had this feature since those consoles launched. However, it's time Sony plays catch up in that regard. If you're playing your PS5 on a nice 4K TV, this really won't do much for you. But according to the PlayStation blog, quote, if you're playing a game with a higher native resolution like 4K, then you may benefit from improved anti-aliasing through super sampling down to 1440p output. And finally, today, the folks at Teaser Play created a trailer for what a bully remake would look like in Unreal Engine 5. And it looks gorgeous. Teaser Play used features like Lumen, Nanite, Ray Tracing, and MetHuman, all built into Unreal Engine 5 to create protagonist Jimmy Hopkins and the environments around Bullworth Academy and the surrounding town. You can check out a side-by-side -side comparison of the original game to Teaser Play's remake on their YouTube channel. Bully has been remastered once before for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, as well as getting a Wii port and a release for mobile. So far, Rockstar has not announced any plans for a Bully remake or a sequel, and I honestly wouldn't hold my breath expecting this fan project would be enough to convince Rockstar to change their minds. They reportedly put a hold on the rumored Red Dead Redemption and GTA 4 remasters after the poor reception of the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition received last year. I guess this fan-made trailer is only a tease for what could have been. Also, I've never played Bully, don't at me. And it would be nice to experience it for the first time with these amazing current-gen graphics. But what can you do? And that was your daily fix for Thursday, July 28th. I'm Stella Chung, and you can catch me on this week's Unlocked, where we discuss some of the biggest games coming to Xbox next year. For more gaming news, follow IGN on your social media platform of choice. We're on pretty much all of them. Catch you later.